Hi, my name is Lynn Blake. I'm an authorized instructor of the golfing machine, and I've been learning about golf for a long time. And in that time, I've learned that there are two things, two things that you must do in order to be a good player. One is to swing through the ball, not hack at the ball. Two, as you swing through the ball, you keep your left wrist flat. It doesn't bend. Those two things alone can make you a far better player than you are right now. One problem. As we learn to keep our left wrist flat, we don't do that at all. Now, that was a fairly decent shot, but I didn't keep my left wrist flat. I just happened to time a nice nip of the ball off the nice turf. <laughs> Isn't it nice to be able to tee up that ball all the time? Winter rules all the time. <laughs> but in so doing, I bent my left wrist. You know, you'd, be, you'd be absolutely amazed how many people I work with telling them to keep their left wrist flat. And I get this, and then they swear that they have kept it flat. And I say, look down. Oh, my gosh, you're right. There it is, just bent as it can be, over and over. But trust me, you cannot ever come anywhere close to your potential as a player until you learn to keep your left wrist flat and swing through the ball. This device, the Pure Swing, invented by my good friend John Weaver at Rover Golf, is designed to give you instant feedback as to whether or not you've kept your left wrist flat. As you go through the ball, this, there's such a gentle pressure against your left forearm, but it's a constant reminder as you go through to maintain that alignment. Once you feel this, the apparatus hugging your right forearm, you know that uh, something has gone desperately awry. So instantly you have the feedback that you've done it wrong. So, once again, setting up to the ball, positioning the pure swings left wrist indicator at your left forearm, assuming your alignments, and through the stroke, the, the pure swing never leaves the left forearm, ever. Now, you can make one of three motions through impact. You can make a full roll, what feels like a full roll, and the toe goes down the line. You can make what feels like a reverse roll, and the club face stays square and just goes, just lays back just like a pancake as you go through. Or you can do simultaneously both, where it goes halfway between closing and laying back. The feel of a closing only club face is the feel of a roll, and that produces shots that have a have a nice compression and they're and they're and they're really they, they really tend to motor right on uh, once they land. Like for a shorter shot up a two-tiered green, that would be exactly what you would use. On the other hand, if you need something higher and softer, then you'd want to lay back that club face. In both instances, the, true, the, the pure swing never leaves the back of the left forearm. It's just a matter of how far do you rotate through the shot. For example, using the one motion, the, the motion of a full roll, so the toe of the club down the line, the pure swing has never left the inside of the left forearm. The higher, softer shot is going to be a palm down procedure. The palm down procedure, once again, the ball goes much higher, but the pure swing does not leave the left forearm. So the benefit here is that this device maintains the left wrist alignment. And the advantage to you is that as you go through, you will maintain those alignments and enjoy the ball flight that you now deserve.